I first walked into my college physics class and saw that I was going to be the only female in the class, I felt very uncomfortable. But what I think it did, it motivated me to work harder to prove to them all that I could do the work just as well as they could, if not even better. My name is Karen Minard. I work at NASA, and this is my story. I remember when I was about 10 years old, my dad took my brother and I to uh, Plumbrook Station for an open house to see a moon rock. And, and it's funny because I, I really wasn't interested in it, and, and now here today I'm working for NASA. I started with NASA on February 17, 1987. And what I remember about that day was taking the oath as a public servant. The responsibility of those words really resonated with me. As a deputy director of the NASA Safety Center, I help to define our plans and manage the programs and projects we do to help assure the safety of the agency workforce and ensure mission success. When I first became a supervisor, I had uh, taken over a branch that um, was not, they, the people came to me and told me we're the stepchild branch of this organization. So being able to come in and work with them to turn the reputation of the branch around so that by the end I had employees coming to me asking me to join the branch and I could see the quality of the work the branch was producing go up phenomenally. My greatest accomplishment was receiving a NASA Exceptional Achievement Medal for my efforts in helping Glenn become ISO 9001 certified. And that was so important to me because that day my family was there in the audience and it just made me feel proud um, and hopefully they felt proud of me too. My father was probably one of the biggest influencers in my life. He taught me to work hard and he was one that was always prepared for emergencies. And I think that taught me to always have a plan B and, and maybe why I ended up working in safety. My mom uh, brought me this plaque. She had uh, seen it in a store and she said when she read the quote, she thought immediately of me. And it says, a, a career woman has to look like a lady, act like a man, and work like a dog. And uh, that certainly has been uh, proven true for me in my career here at NASA. In college, I majored in computer science, and because I was interested in math, I also minored in mathematics. And in hindsight, I'm so glad I did because most of the positions I've held here at NASA, I've been qualified for them because of my math minor. I would not hold the position I hold today if I did not have that math minor. I would tell the next generation to always challenge yourself, never stop learning, and to always do your best. My name is Karen Minard, and this is my story.